Hey everyone, this is just a quick video on how to get into Rotary Park in Ajax uh, if you're wanting to launch your kayak or canoe. So you head down Lake Driveway southbound, turn into Rotary Park. Head down this little road and you can see on the left here this is how you would enter into the rest of the park but you keep on heading straight down to the boat area. Go past this little parking lot. Watch out for people popping out of this forest on their bikes or walking and running. And here's the parking lot for the boat launch area. As you can see, there's quite a few parking spots. Over by the trees, there are specific spots for canoers and kayakers. If you find that it's busy, just park your car in front of the launch area right here and then just drop off your canoe or kayak and your equipment and then go park and head on back. Again those are the uh, spots for the kayakers and canoers that have trailers or large equipment. So this is the launch area. There's a few places you can put in. You can put in directly in the water here or you can head down to the dock and head in from the dock. You can also put in over to the left of the black fence here directly into Duffins Creek. So on the dock there's a couple of tie downs, this uh, metal pole that you can use to support yourself as you're getting in and out of your kayak or canoe. And as you head out of the dock area if you turn left or go southbound, you can uh, go directly out into Lake Ontario under that walking bridge. This footage was taken on a very calm day, heading out towards Lake Ontario. Some days it's extremely choppy and I uh, wouldn't suggest anyone heading out there that's not experienced. Again, this is from the dock. There's an area right in front of the dock that you can go to. If you head right, You'll be heading up Duffins Creek. This is another video from the water and off to the right there was the dock. And as you're paddling up Duffins Creek, you're just uh, be aware that there's often fishermen off to the shore on the right there, casting their lines out. Just be careful you don't get yourself all caught up in them. Straight ahead is another bay area. That bay area you can uh, get into pretty much all year round. If the water's low, it's a little bit difficult to paddle around. There's also a large dock that has nesting birds in there. You can get up and close to. And to the left here is Duffins Creek. If you want to see more videos of Duffins Creek, just check out the other videos on my YouTube channel. You'll see a whole bunch of wildlife and uh, you'll see all of the uh, various trees leaning into the water and how you negotiate around them. Duffins Creek is always changing so from year to year uh, the log jams or logs that are blocking the way change and they change pretty frequently. Okay back at the dock area again you can uh, drop off your equipment both when you're coming or going here in this area and you can grab your car if you're not parked close by and then load up your car in this general area. This is a view from the parking lot. As you can see there's that little bay area in front of the dock. As we pan to the right here you'll see how Duffins Creek forks to the left and there's another bay area to the right. And remember to wear a personal flotation device anytime that you're on the water for yourself or anyone that's in the kayak or canoe with you. Hope you liked that short little video on how to get in and out of Duffins Creek. If you have any comments, please put your comments below. I'd like to hear from you. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos like this of Duffins Creek and other areas in the region. Thank you.